So we've been tagged in a tag video. Ignition sequence start. So today I'm doing the five embarrassing moments. tag moments uh, tag video. We were tagged by Sarah over at Super Sarah Stuff. Her link will be in the description. Um, we're just going to get straight into it. So the first question is, have you ever fallen down in public? And tell me the story. or tell the story. Uh, I'll go first. Like I said, it's probably the only one I do have an answer for. Yeah. Um, so at school, the one just like... A path leading down and there was a grass to cut over the path and it had been raining the day before and I thought it would be a smart idea to walk across the grass because I've done it loads of times and I've been fine. It was just this one day I walked across as soon as I put my foot onto the grass I was went, slipped over, landed straight on my ass. I was covered in mud from the bottom of my jeans because I used to wear black jeans to school instead of school trousers right way up to like halfway okay. up my blazer. So I had to like go to it down by the nurse and literally like try and clean up my blazer and everything. I was just covered in mud for the entire day. Uh, he walked into the first lesson covered in mud. Walked into the first lesson of science, sat down and I was like just covered in mud all up my jeans, all up my shirt and everything. And I ended up going home the next lesson because I was just covered in mud. <laughs> I actually have basically three times I remember now that you've said about school as well. So I'll try and make them quick. Uh, first time that I would remember was when it was snowing at school and uh, the speed bumps going into uh, our school or well, our old school and uh, I walked in and for some reason decided to walk across uh, one of the speed bumps slipped on my ass everybody saw uh, and uh, I asked the teacher whether I had uh, any snow on my back she says you haven't fallen as well have you? I says yeah <laughs> Uh, another time there's like a lot of like a brick wall near my house and um, I, I usually always kind of jump over it to get over like while I'm leaving the house or coming back to the house and I was with Jordan <laughs> at the time and I tried to jump over it and I caught my ankle and like fell over it and completely wrecked my ankle he's there in bits <laughs> laughing at me and then another time was when I was with you again and we was uh, walking back from the shop because we wanted to get ice cream and drinks and stuff like that and um, I didn't fall off the curb I don't think I fell up the curb no I fell off she fell off the curb she's walking like and just out of nowhere like we're mid-conversation <laughs> and then like I just hear like a thud on the floor I turn around like one minute she's up the next she's just flat on the floor I was like what happened she's like I don't know I just <laughs> fell and the funniest uh, thing with the wall part is she jumped and it was like <laughs> she'd hit a brick wall midair. It was just, just kind of like that. <laughs> and it was like <laughs> sudden moments. It was like hit the floor. And, like. Uh, and with the um, with the curb, I actually fell because um, I was like um, kind of like a car park because we live well. I live near a pub. And uh, there's a car park being, of course, there's all smashed glass and stuff like that. And I probably can't lift my leg up high enough, but I have a little mark on my knee. Still, from when I, I like cut my leg open in the slightest bit, but I was being such a little baby about it. <laughs> I came home to mum and was like, Mum, I fell and I'm bleeding. She's like, You're such a pussy. So, I kind of. So. <laughs> the second question is Have you ever accidentally exposed a private body part? A wardrobe malfunction of any sort, tell the story. I haven't, well, I don't recall me ever doing it, but I don't think I have. When first reading these questions, I thought, no, that's never happened to me. But then I realised it happened once, kind of. Uh, and I was on holiday and I must have jumped in the pool or something. And I had a non, uh, a strapless bikini on. And uh, my brother and my friend, it was a guy, uh, was basically signing to me, like, pointing at me and stuff, trying to say to me about something, and I'm like, what, like, what are you trying to say? And then my brother's girlfriend comes up to me and just pulls my um, bikini bra, I suppose, back up, because I basically <laughs> had half of my boob out from when, like, 
it hit the water. So, yeah. yeah. Third question is, have you ever been embarrassed in front of a crush? Tell the story. Again, I haven't. I'm, it's, I'm just like full of embarrassing moments. It's just, I don't really get embarrassed much, I suppose, and I don't really, I haven't really had many crushes and that, so he's, it's just kind of... He isn't clumsy and he doesn't do dumb shit like me, basically. Uh, I was in class in school again. I was probably uh, maybe 12 or 13 or something like that. And me and my friend was laughing in class. We were sitting next to each other. And um, they moved uh, the tables instead of being like in rows two to a table. They changed it to like a U shape, all the tables put together. And literally, I was sitting straight across from my crush at the time, and me and my friend was laughing, and I broke wind <laughs> in class, and everyone just stopped and stared at me, <laughs> and my friend is absolutely, she's bright red, and she's pouring her tears, how much she's laughing, and I was trying to blame it on her, she was like, no, that was all you, <laughs> while my crush is just kind of there, like, with his head down, like, oh, really, like, so, yeah. The next one is, have you ever gotten a stage fright or had an embarrassing performance? Well, no, because any kind <laughs> of performance, singing, you didn't, you didn't plays, anything like that, I avoided them. I'd make up an excuse that, you know, I couldn't come to the show after school, <laughs> or this was like in year six or whatever, so when I was a lot younger, or i just make up an excuse I didn't want to do it, and then it just got to the point where the teachers knew that I'd have some sort <laughs> of an excuse. So they just put me as like, you know, someone who helped with the sets or whatever. Mm. From nine times out of ten, I just sat there doing nothing. <laughs> so, no, I haven't had any stage fright. Once again, I have. I had, um, I've, all, I've done dance uh, throughout my life, which means that I did it at school as well. And this was only like a few years ago. And it was the first time I actually did a full on um, kind of like a musical and we was doing fame. And because fame is kind of like a school uh, environment show anyways uh, we had uh, in our lunch hall these tables that would fold in and out and that was on wheels and stuff so the chairs were connected to the tables and I was one of the dancers I didn't do any of the singing or acting or anything like that uh, but there was a moment where we were all sitting on the chairs and tables and then we got to jump off do a dancey bit and then we kind of spin to then sit back down where we was and this was the very first night we did three nights and this was the very first night my parents came to watch and uh, right I'm basically right at the front with the rest of the girls the actors start doing their dialogue as we spin to sit back down and I missed the chair and I had to jump back up and then sit on it again and just act like it was completely normal <laughs> And then after the show, my mum and dad were just kind of smirking and says, I know, you saw me fall. And that was just like, how was your fall? It's like, it's not good. And I said the only embarrassing thing I'd probably say is like, when I first started doing YouTube, I was like turning on the camera, I felt quite embarrassed doing that. Yeah. Nothing like that. <laughs> nothing as messed up as me. Uh, the fifth and final question is, have you ever been drunk and do you have any embarrassing stories? Uh, I've been drunk, I haven't had any embarrassing stories. Yes, I remember one. It's not really embarrassing though. For who? You? You. You yeah. fell into a tent when you were yes. with your dad. <laughs> I remember. I was at the Formula One and I'd been drinking with my dad and that and I was like, I need the toilet and he was on a campsite. And um, I remember this because he was on the phone to me at the time. I was on a, a campsite and you had to walk down to the bottom to go to like the big toilets and that. I was like, I'll be fine. I start walking and like just I felt fine until like it just out of nowhere I just like crashed, and fell into someone's tent, <laughs> and I was like, shit, at someone's tent. I got up and I sprinted to the <laughs> toilet, and like, I went to the toilet and that, and then like I walked back up because it was in rows. I walked back up like the opposite row and then cut through, and I saw the people just out their tent, just like looking around, <laughs> and, that. and I was just like run back to the tent where we were staying. I was like hid for a bit and then I looked out and it was gone I was like I'm fine I can come out now. <laughs> but yeah that, that just popped in my head I was like yes you do. But when she said that I remember but I didn't say she, her story she doesn't remember it happening but it was basically. Oh with the, the chair. And she is like basically is a party. Uh, she went to sit down on the settee, <laughs> missed the settee completely <laughs> 
and like there's the settee and she just like fell, landed. <laughs> like she fell, like sat on the settee somewhat and then, and like, then like, like fell. <laughs> And she's lying on the floor, she sits up and she starts shouting at our friend, saying it was his fault that she fell. <laughs> when he he was nowhere near where she was. And he's like, what are you going on about? He's just like completely oblivious to what's just... Like, we didn't know what had happened. Like, I, I saw her sit down and then I just heard, like, heard her just start shouting. I turned around, she's on the floor. <laughs> and she's like shouting abuse at him, saying like, your fault I fell. You made me fall. And he's like, hold on, I'm standing like nowhere near. We were talking. And she just started shaking, I'm just like, shut up! And she's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that, she just got back up. I can, I'm going to be told to just shut up when I'm drunk, and I just go, okay. <laughs> uh, but another one was, it was a New Year's party. I think it was the New Year's party that's just gone. And, um, you know, girls wearing heels, they fall over a lot sometimes. But not me. Uh, the party had finished. I was still obviously tipsy or drunk or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I walk upstairs into my bedroom, I take my shoes off and I'm like, oh I need to go get some like water or some coke or something like that to like, not just sober up but hey your throat goes all dry. So I go up the stairs in my heels, walk out of my bedroom with no heels on at all, somehow finds a way to fall <laughs> down the stairs. So... <laughs> Oh, uh, that's the last question, and um, yeah, sorry I'm so boring in it, it's like 10 minutes long, uh, 11 minutes long with just you talking about how embarrassing you are. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit of a mess. We couldn't really find many people to tag because not a lot of people do it, obviously the people we tag don't have to do this. Yeah. Uh, but the only two people we could really think of, because quite a few who we'd normally tag have already done it. Yeah. So there's Ian, which is British BGG. geeky guy. And Clayton, the... Musical nerd? The musical nerd. Yeah. yeah, obviously you don't have to do it. If you do choose to do it, then obviously you'd like to see. Like, yeah. Let yeah. us know and we'll watch it. Yeah, you're, or just comment below if you want to do it, just do it and just say you watched our video and done it. Mm. Uh, but yeah, if or if you just want to comment your answers, tell I, us I some embarrassing say, moments. Or just tell us some embarrassing moments in the comments. Uh, and we'll obviously laugh with you or laugh at you. Yeah, or laugh at me. <laughs> So we'll see you in the next video. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, leave it a like if you enjoyed. A comment. We like to read your comments. Get in on the discussion. Ask us questions about the stuff that we've got. If you enjoyed uh, this video, go back. Get look at the other videos. And if you enjoyed and want to see more content from us, subscribe to us. It's highly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out our social media. We have a Facebook page, a Twitter an Instagram and also a Snapchat now so go check those out in the description and maybe around the screen yeah so if you want to get in touch with us on there we'd like to have conversations with you and see you in the next one Thanks.